If you've already purchased or you're thinking about buying the newer boom arm or one like it, and you wanna know how to install this on your wall to hang in your studio or office setup, I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step process so that you can get this hung correctly. So let's get into it. So if you wanna be part of the family here, click that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss another one of our videos when we upload it. I was looking for a way to mount my light to the wall I came up with this setup and it's not that sturdy and I worry it might fall. After doing some research, I decided to buy a wall mount triangle boom arm. This seemed to be the best option to make my small office a lot more usable by not only allowing me to suspend the light from the wall, but also to be able to move it around where I needed it and to push it up out of the way when not in use. I decided to go with the newer wall mounted boom arm because it seemed to be very sturdy and had a nice build quality to it. It takes up little to no space and you can use it to hang a wide variety of things like a mono light soft box, a ring light, a microphone, just to name a few. You can move it around where you want it and with the dual swivel design, you can swing the boom arm up and down and side to side. It'll go zero to 180 degree for various angle adjustments or fold it almost flat against the wall to save space when necessary. You can extend the boom arm to get it right where you want it. Let's talk about the dimensions. This boom arm from the wall plate out, it extends 29 inches. And with the arm all the way extended, it reaches 51 inches. The wall plate itself is 12 inches by five and a half inches. Now when you open the box, you're gonna get the boom arm along with some bolts. The bolts that come with this is expansion bolts for a concrete wall. So unless you plan on attaching this to a concrete wall, these bolts will do you no good. So you'll need to purchase your own. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go pick some up if you don't already have some. Along with the stuff I'm using in this video, so you can go check out those links as well. Fortunately, this does not come with any instructions. Don't worry, it's easy to do, and I'm here to help you get this installed correctly. This is a little heavy. The boom arm weighs about five pounds. When adding more weight to it, you'll need to make sure it's secure to the wall. For most of you who have drywall, this means installing this to a stud in your wall. I've noticed a lot of people are not installing this the right way, and I wanna make sure that you know how to install this correctly. I'm gonna show you how to attach this to the wall with drywall, so you have to find a stud in the wall to make sure it's secure. There's a few ways we can find a stud in the wall. One way is to tap on the wall and listen for a solid sound. This will indicate where the studs are. This is not the easiest way and can be hard to tell if you have it right. Another option is to use a stud finder. I'm gonna show you how to use the magnet so that you can find the drywall screw and locate your stud in the wall. Because I believe that most of you have a magnet laying around your house and this would probably be the most common thing that you can get your hands on without actually having to go and buy something just to hang this up. So as you can see, using the magnet right here is a stud. Once you locate the stud, you'll want to mark it with a pencil. I'm using deck screws to attach this to the wall. The reason I chose deck screws is that they're strong and they'll work perfectly for this application. And I already had some laying around, so why not use them? The deck screws I'm using are two and a half inches long but you can use any screws you have on hand and they don't necessarily have to be two and a half. They can be two inches, but I wouldn't recommend less than two inches. This will give you good support in the stud. Just make sure that they fit through the holes on your mounting plate. Everyone's getting this wrong. I wanna make sure that you're mounting it the right way. Now I know it's a little confusing when you first look at it. These holes right here are for the concrete bolts that the unit came with. Now you don't wanna use those holes because they don't line up from stud to stud as they're not far enough apart. These are the holes you wanna use. These are your inline holes. Two screws, one here, one there, and you're ready. And that's definitely gonna be the safest. Now that we know where the stud is, we gotta make sure whatever angle 
this is going to be at, that it's definitely going to work. I think this will be a good height right here too, and it'll keep it up out of the way. You're going to need some kind of level before you start. We have our level. We're going to be ready. Get my screw ready there. Now I'm using one of these sleeves so that I can get my screw on there and make it a lot easier. Reach over and drill this in. This one snug it up so it'll hold. So we got the one screw in. All we have to do now is get this level. Right there looks level to me. Let's move this back this way. Wanna get down here at the bottom. Yep, nice and tight. I can tug on this, it's not going nowhere. It's 100% secure. This didn't take very long, a couple seconds. If you move this, it's going to go down and you can adjust it where you want it. So now we're just gonna add our light to this. Whoa, didn't see that. We're trying to get this light where we want it to be. So we gotta decide where that is. All we have to do now is secure our wires, run them across the top. This is gonna be a really cool setup for future videos. You wanna make sure you're using the inline hole when you secure this to your stud. If not, you try to do drywall anchors. This kind of weight is not gonna hold it. It's gonna rip back out of the wall. Hope you liked this video. If you did, click this link right here and follow us to the next video.